Hello and welcome everyone to the channel. This is a new unboxing video and now I'm actually unboxing the Seagate expansion desktop drive, a uh, six terabytes hard drive. This is the box. All right. So it's actually still in this nylon wrapping. And there's also this small seal here. Okay. And it's actually for both PC and Mac. And this is actually is what it looks like. So it's like this box there. Actually, if I flip this over, maybe I can have it. Alright, then I'll have to be careful with this one. Alright, I think these are the cables. And... The hard drive. It's actually big, and this is the um, expansion uh, quick start guide that comes with every product or extension products from Seagate. And actually needs it requires actually two connections, one as an electricity connection, and one with the computer. It's USB 3.0 Type A USB and not USB C. Okay. It's also included in this nice nylon bag. So I think so. Th these are actually the feet of it, you know, the grips that should be put like this, right, on the table. And then these are the connections. All right, so, you, so here I have the electricity uh, connection and this is the USB connection. And we have also this other box, smaller box. So it comes with this USB cable. And this. So there are many things inside actually. Check these out. So we have this uh, electricity plug. Okay, here we have different adapters. So depending on where you live, in which country, what type of um, electricity plugs you have uh, in your apartment, then you can actually choose from these, the one that actually suits you, which I think this is actually like a nice um, thought from Seagate that they didn't just like left you, let's say with, you know, uh, didn't leave you with, let's say only the, you know, the US port or, only the European port or you know like uh, other types of ports but it just you know included all of these um, connections or adapters for you to use and here it says push like this 
I believe, or like this, right? So that's yeah, exactly. So you remove this um, cover here, and then with this um, arrow, as you can see here, that it indicates how you have to push it down. So these two um, pins would actually connect with the back pins here with these ones. So it's like this, right? And then you, you hear this click and then now it's good to go. So this is the European. If you're living in the US, then you may need to use this one. Click and it's now good to go. I will actually click on this push, release it, and use this one again because I live in Europe. Okay, I think, well, I don't know the difference between these two. I think, I mean, they look identical to me. Ah, maybe the size of these is actually different. Like these ones are bigger than these ones. I don't know where the, I mean, the difference, where the usage of each of these. I will try it now first, this one. Okay, so let's put the adapters on the side. So we have the storage drive. We have the USB cable to connect it to the computer. And we have the electricity cable to connect it to the electrical plug. Now, if I want actually to check out the weight of this one. So, if I put now these on the side and I bring my measure here and I click, run it. Calibrate it now to zero grams and I put this one like this It weighs around 781 grams, which is equal to 27 ounces 0.56 which is equal to 1.722 pounds And These cables so if let's say you want to travel and you want to like really know the weight of everything, if not, I actually put everything together. So the drive and the everything that you need. So the cable, the USB cable and the electric plug cable, then everything all together would weigh 958 grams, which is equal to 33.78 ounces, which is equal to 2.111 pounds. Okay, that's it for the weight. All right, now um, I already connected the drive to the electricity and I also connected the plug, the USB plug with it, but then I still need to connect this one, uh, the other end to the laptop. And since I'm using the Dell XPS 17, I does, it doesn't have actually a USB-A type port, but only USB-Cs. And so that's why I'm actually using this adapter if you want to know more about this adapter, you can actually go to um, this link here uh, and check it out. So this is the USB A USB C adapter, and now if I connect it, so now the laptop now we, uh, for the the drive now this we see this white light uh, on. I'm gonna bring it. This is now on lit and I still do not see it yet on my computer so I'm still waiting to see when it's gonna find it all right so I actually tried uh, to actually flip or you know switch the plug to the other one this one is like you know the other European one that looks similar but bigger so the smaller one actually works uh, I connect I just like you know change it to the other one and then now this one works I connect it to the laptop and just gonna work directly straight away um, All right, so uh, now we can see the drive and we can read um, On the drive now. Let's go to the screen and now on the screen We can see that the drive the six terabytes 
drive is actually five terabytes and 450 gigabytes and not six terabytes um, in total. And if we double click on the drive, we're going to find the default files, the standard files that come with the drive. We have the start here, when we have the warranty PDF and we have this folder start here mac.app folder that also includes other folders contents and whatnot other other files and folders so that's it that's what we get um, uh, with the drive uh, as a fresh uh, start all right and now let's make a speed test uh, by copying a file i just prepared this file a five gigabytes file uh, select it Control C and then I'm going to now click Control V and as you can see now it takes like just maybe a couple of seconds to run uh, for the hard drive to run uh, when you don't use it actually it like kind of becomes idle so now it started to copy and it says that's going to take 25 seconds and you can see that now it's just reaching 192 megabytes per second as a maximum speed going around 191 or 92, kind of like a stable speed. Almost done, a few seconds, and done. And so, yeah, so it took around 25 seconds to copy a five gigabytes file uh, to the hard drive. So this is the uh, copying speed or the writing speed. Um, yeah, now let's run another speed test. And now let's try to uh, test the speed of the hard drive as well, but now with the crystal disk mark 8.0.4, and let's make sure to select the correct drive, the six terabytes drive. And now let's click on all. And now also let's wait for the um, speed test results. And so as you can see now, uh, the speed test with the crystal disk mark uh, has been done, has been completed. And you can see that the read speed is around 202 megabytes per second. The writing speed is around 197 megabytes per second as on average. Um, so this is the speed test uh, of the uh, six terabytes desktop uh, storage drive and not portable drive. Um, if you like um, this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you think that it has been, it has given you something useful and meaningful, uh, and would actually influence your opinion or your, you know, next step to buying uh, this uh, hard drive, please also let me know about that. If you have any questions, also please do mention these questions in the comments below. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, to the channel to uh, keep up to date with the all new videos and uh, see you in the next videos.